How's it going folks? Sean Lawless here and today we're going to discuss how to become successful in the porn industry. Now if you're a male and you want to break into the porn industry and you're shooting your first ever boy girl intercourse sex scene, you can make about $300, three to 400 bucks for your first scene. Now, if you are a top-notch, you know, upper echelon, 10 years in, famous male porn stud, you can make about 1500 and that's the cap. So for a male, 1500 is pretty much the cap for a one-day sex scene. And if you're asking yourself, no, I am not making $1,500 per scene. So let's say you're not the most famous male in the porn game and you still want to make $1,500 a day. Well, how do you do that? Let's say your rate is 700, okay? You go in and you shoot an early morning scene at about eight o'clock and you finish at two o'clock. Then you shoot another scene at four o'clock until about 10 o'clock. There you've just doubled your money and you clear 1400 for the day. So after you shoot that specific scene and you get paid for that day, that's it. That's all the money you make. After you shoot that scene, you have sold that content to a corporation or a company and they now own that. So you see no residual income after you shoot that scene. What does that mean? That means once you leave for the day, that's it. That's all the money you're ever gonna make for that movie. Now, after shooting almost 700 movies, all the money I've already made is all the money I'm gonna make from shooting those pornos. Does that suck? Yes, it kind of does. But how do you change that? You start shooting your own content and you own that content for yourself so that whenever you sell it, you make the money as opposed to a different company. You could do that by shooting clips at home or you can team up with other talent and make your own movies and sell them on clip hosting sites or start your own website. Another way you can even make more money is by shooting a porno at your house. There you can make between three, five, depending on where you are, you know, location wise, you can make three to $500 here in Miami or out west in uh, LA and Vegas, you can make upwards to $1,000 by shooting at your house. So there, you know, you can bump your, your rate up to even 2,500 a day if you're a male. So how difficult is it to be a male and shoot porn five days a week? Well, I'd say that there's probably about 30 of us in the industry that shoot porn regularly five days a week as our career. There are many, many other male performers who shoot, you know, intermittently once, twice a week. But how do you get to that level to shoot five days a week for actual porn? It's actually really tough. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, one, you have to keep it up. And that means, you know, keep it up. And that's a tough thing to do. It, you know, everybody has a bad day. Sometimes you just have to overcome that, shake the monkey off your back and show up the next day ready to go. There's also, uh, you know, uh, people don't like tattoos. Companies don't like to shoot um, tattoos for, for males because it's, it's discernible. You can see, oh, this is a guy I don't like. So anonymity is the best for a male because it's the best way to not get shot out. And by shot out, I mean people are tired of seeing you all the time. And it's just like, you know, every porn you click on, oh, that's the same guy, that's the same guy. I don't like him. And trust me, if people don't like you, they are not nice when they write comments about you on the pornos. So by not having tattoos, you can run under the radar. So by having the most generic look possible, that is the most beneficial for a male. The last two ways a male can make more money by shooting porn is either by being the director or the producer. By being director, of course, then you make the director's fee. By being the producer, you can establish the budget and dictate the budget. You can decide who you work with, where you work, and what time you work. So that, of course, has many benefits. Other than that, when a male shows up to work, if he has an established rate, that is the rate for the day. Regardless if it's a gangbang, anal, uh, DP, or anything like that, that's the rate. That is not the case for females. Let's talk about that. So thanks a lot guys for going in with me. That was just a real quick brief overview as to how men make their money in porn and that's just the straight side of porn of course. And uh, the next episode will cover how females do it. So thanks again for going in with me and if you wanna find me on any social media or whatnot, I'll leave links to that. If you have any other questions, either refer back to previous episodes of Going In or leave your comments down below and I'll get to them in uh, upcoming episodes. Thanks again.